Hey everyone, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining me for this read. We're going to use the numerology deck again today. Uh, so uh, we are going to incorporate some of the colors uh, while we're working with them. Uh, just as far as sort of the chakra energies go, uh, make sure you're also paying attention to the numbers on these cards. These numbers might have significance for some of you. They might be birthdays, they might be phone numbers or addresses. So keep an eye on, let's see, see what message comes through with these cards. We've gotten, gotten a few uh, pretty, pretty awesome messages lately. So I really wanted to use them again. So we do have a time out. So that purple color, it tends to represent that seventh chakra in our spirituality. The yellow does tend to go uh, to the second chakra and, and our self-esteem. Or is it the third chakra? But it's, it's, it represents our self-esteem, our self-worth. Hmm, there might be a need for healing here with this timeout card. We also have personal growth. Also, as personal growth time, it might be tied into our spirituality too. Sort of leaning on it, uh, being able to build ourselves back up by embracing our spiritual side. And spiritual career. Interesting. This is like the second time this has come up, guys. And we have forgiveness, too. Hmm. You know, I almost get a vibe. This spiritual career might not necessarily be for your energy. This might be the energy of someone around you. I, if some of you are... are uh, more religious uh, you like to go to church this spiritual career card it might even represent somebody who's like a pastor or a priest somebody who you trust as uh, somebody who you can go to for advice and teaching and learning you're going to be learning from whoever this person is if you hasn't, haven't already. I feel like they have some good advice. It does have to do with, with forgiveness, which for you is going to be very healing. And it's not about... Forgiveness isn't about saying that whatever somebody did to you is okay. It's just saying you're not going to live with that anger anymore. You refuse to live with it on a daily basis because the other person doesn't feel it. You're the one who feels it every day. That's self-discipline. So green does tend to represent the heart chakra. So I do feel like we are going to be speaking uh, on some level about healing your heart. I feel like this is going to be tied into forgiveness. Uh, a situation that perhaps you've been through, maybe you're on the other side of now, uh, with somebody. Somebody who hurt you. Self-love. And this is going to come with embracing your spirituality, uh, with, with embracing yourself, learning to love yourself, learning to let go of anger. This is going to help you to just be happier in general, happier in your own skin. And we do have leadership too. You know what? It's like within this journey, you're going to have an opportunity to do this to others if you haven't already. And maybe that's what these cards are speaking to. This is the situation that you had to go through. You had to do some healing. You found value in spirituality and in faith, in helping you find forgiveness and moving on and moving forward. And maybe you're trying to help others with that now too. So I feel like that leadership, that does tie into you guys. It does tie into uh, the collective's energy and who this read is meant for. It's like using your own story and the hurts that you went through to help other people uh, find forgiveness, to help other people find personal growth, to help other people find that self-love. The Queen of Swords. So she usually represents that honesty, uh, integrity. Uh, she can be someone like the King of Swords, uh, who isn't very emotional or sometimes has trouble with their emotions and sort of being able to process them or show them. And I feel like this is also part of the healing process. It's like these inner truths. It's the emotions that we're still struggling with about things that happened in the past. And being able to talk about them, being able to be open with them, I feel like it's healing. And I feel like your healing, your healing path started with somebody else, sort of mentoring you spiritually or 
like I said, like if it was a pastor or a priest or, or in some other capacity, some sort of a mentor uh, who is who is very spiritual and gives beautiful advice. And it's like they helped you to start this healing process. As you move forward and you start to help others, I feel like the healing process continues. Like you're not completely on the other side, but being able to do that, it just reinforces it. It just helps you to love yourself even more, being able to help others to love themselves. It's like we're letting go of the past. We need to be letting go of the past. This is tied to the past and things that happened in the past for you. We're building, we're building fresh. Building and starting fresh, building for a new future and finding our strength and, and loving ourselves, finding self-empowerment too, taking our power back. The Magician card, this is, you know, he can represent a few things, guys. In this read, he represents uh, gaining all the tools that you need to be successful in life because uh, he is in reverse, so he's not, he's not complete yet. We haven't completed those tools yet. Like I said, this is a healing process. This is an ongoing process. We might have done uh, the majority of the work so far. But as we keep going, it just gets better and better. We find more and more self-love, more and more inner peace and in moving forward and watching other people heal too and knowing that we had a hand in that. The two of swords, it can represent indecision, a sort of choosing a path. I don't feel like it's entirely for you. I feel like part, partly it is, but I feel like part of it ties into this leadership too and helping others. And it's like helping others find a path is helping you to choose a path. So this 10 of pentacles, it can represent wealth, abundance, and building a legacy. I feel like this is something that you are doing right now. I feel like this is tying into this being a longer healing process, this rebuilding. And there's many different layers of it. Like I said, helping others is a big part of this for you. Wheel of Fortune. Fortunes are changing for the better. And the Knight of Cups is an emotional offering. Huh. And this might be the emotional satisfaction that you get from helping others. This might be... Uh, when this leadership role was offered to you to help others too or how you came into it that would also that would also be an emotional offering I feel like it also speaks to the mentor who helped you start to work through what you were going through now we do have the sun card there it's a good omen it does represent positive things manifesting I feel like you're still struggling sometimes like some days are better than others I feel like that's why the cards are kind of, they're kind of on and off too. Because we are building, we are healing, but I feel like we're still struggling too uh, with, with whatever it is that we are going through. And it has to do with this tower card too. Uh, some sort of ending, some sort of disappointment, some sort of uh, grieving. This is part of the past. This is what triggered the need for this journey to begin in the first place. And the Knight of Wands, so it does represent moving, it does represent moving on, so this is still something that you're working on. This is, like I said, it's an ongoing process. This is not an overnight change for you. This is something that's going to, is going to take a while. I feel like you have good days. I feel like sometimes you still have shitty days. And the Knight of Pentacles. So, he represents somebody who's steady and steadfast. To me, this is this mentor who's been helping you guys out. And it's like when you have these shitty days, you're still able to go back to them. And they're just as supportive as they were uh, the first time you spoke to them. Like your entire journey all the way through. On judgment, she is karma. So getting back what you put out into the world, having her show up here. I feel like she's tied to the wheel of fortune. It's like you've put all this work into... into healing yourself, into helping others to heal. I feel like this is earning good karma. I feel like this will bring rewards at the end of the day. You, you might not see them now. It might take a while. 
but you will see them on the king of cups so cups is indicative of emotions It can also be representative of somebody who's a water sign. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And this might be somebody who you're helping work through what they're going through as well. This might be why it's tied to judgment and good karma. You might be helping somebody else uh, who's going through a really rough time. And somebody you can relate to, maybe your situations were a little bit similar. I feel like, you know, like this person who helped you, that mentor, they were your knight of pentacles but i feel like you are actually somebody else's knight of pentacles i don't know if you've quite realized that yet that you were viewed in that way the way that you view somebody else but somebody else looks at you just the same way somebody who's struggling to move on as well struggling to move to calmer times So this ten of swords can represent an ending, but one that's beneficial in the long run. It is in reverse. So somebody's struggling with bringing something to a close. This may be your energy. This may be the energy of the person or some of the people that you are helping. If there's many people that you're helping. And it might be getting out of a situation. Moving forward from a toxic situation. I might be struggling with addiction. But they are fighting, they are fighting stopping this. They are fighting bringing this to an end uh, so that they can move forward. It's like they keep slipping back, they keep slipping up. Then we do have the Seven of Pentacles, which is an abundant harvest. It's like uh, putting in the groundwork and then being able to see the results. I feel like you're seeing them in your life. Like I said, I feel like you still have good days, you still have bad days. I feel like that also ties into the energies around you. You might even be, guys, you might even be an empath, and that's why I'm feeling it so much in the cards, because your bad days are actually correlated with other people's bad days. The bad days that people have that you're trying to help when they, they're in the shit, or they slip up, or they're struggling, I feel like you take it on emotionally too. So you might be an empath, guys. Uh... I feel like when they have good days, it's the same thing. It's like you feel you feel that happiness with them. You feel those wins with them. We do have the lover's card in reverse too. So a lover's card, it doesn't necessarily represent a romantic relationship. Uh, this, this card might be struggling with passions giving in to passions which might be part of what people are fighting giving in to certain passions which would be representative of most likely the addictions and the ace of wands and wands is about passion it's like a new beginning a new beginning controlling your passion controlling your urges And that Ten of Cups, this is like a, this is like happily ever after. This is like abundance in the home life, a happy home life. And again, it's like we're still struggling with this. We're still struggling with that happy home life. Mm, the King of Swords. How does the King of Swords fit in? Because he's a person. He's a person. So the King of Swords is somebody who doesn't deal in emotion. He usually deals in, he usually deals in facts. He might be somebody who who you're working with. He might be the mentor in all of this. He might be somebody who is giving you guidance. Uh, you look to him for the right thing to do. He may be somebody who's involved with this journey. And perhaps some of these people who are struggling even have involvement with the law on some level. And that's where it comes in too. And so you might even have involvement there speaking on their behalf or trying to help mediate. Because I feel like he's a person. This King of Swords is a person. But he's not negative, And he does not speak to your past. So this is someone current in the situation. Currently involved. Which is why I say possibly law enforcement. Because that's usually where the King of Swords fits in. Um, in police. In the court system. Like a, a lawyer or a judge. Or a private investigator. Someone like that. 
And I feel like he's got some sort of a hand in all of this too. Oh, yeah. Then we pulled the justice card, so that kind of makes sense. And this might be what somebody's struggling with, and it might be as somebody who you're trying to help. And whatever they're slipping back into might be something that is, like I was saying before, addiction. So it might be something that's illegal. And this is where the King of Swords, this is where justice comes in. Uh, this person is trying to turn around, but they're having a really hell of a time. And, and you might be able to speak on their behalf too, or trying to sort of help working in conjunction with these other forces. Uh, and I do believe your mentor still has a hand in things too. You still stay in contact with them for guidance uh, in, in moving forward in this choice in your life. I feel like this was a very noble choice of you to be able to to turn your hurt into something that can help others too. So like this was very important to you. Like I said, you started healing when this journey started out, but as it goes further and further, I feel like you heal more. Uh, but I do feel that you're an empath. So when these people have rough days, when there are setbacks, I feel like you take them on personally. There might be a need uh, to sort of set up emotional boundaries as much as you can. Uh, from this as well so it doesn't it doesn't run you down or bring down your health too uh, because being an empath that can definitely happen but I feel like when they do win when you do get a win there man I I feel like that feels really good I feel like your healing goes up another notch your self-love goes up another notch it makes you feel really good about yourself it does such good for your heart to help others Alrighty, guys I hope that you enjoyed the reading thank you very much for joining me Take care.